On the last Monday in every May, the United States of America pauses for Memorial Day. We pause and give thanks for those men and women who risked their lives and died in defense of our country, freedom, and liberty. As a member of the Senate Foreign Affairs Committee, as a veteran myself, as a Georgian, and as an American, I hope you'll all join with me and say a little prayer this weekend of thanks for all those men and women who made it possible for you and I to live in freedom and in peace. As a member of the Veterans Affairs Committee, I've just returned from Europe in, in, in France, in Luxembourg, in England, and in Italy to stop at eight of the American cemeteries from World War I and World War II, where thousands of Americans who gave their lives and sacrificed are now buried and honored in these foreign countries. And when I went to Normandy especially, I thought of this, the 70th anniversary of D-Day, and the fact that in one day, just on the beach at Omaha Beach, 3,400 Americans lost their lives so you and I could be free today it made me recognize the importance of Memorial Day and the importance of all Americans memorializing that day in their homes, in their cities, and in their towns. So I hope you'll join with me this Memorial Day on Monday. Say a prayer of thanks for those soldiers who have sacrificed and died for our behalf. And when you run into a man and a woman in uniform or a veteran, say thank you. Thank you for a job well done. Thank you for preserving our country. Thank you for saving liberty. Thank you for saving America. May God bless the United States of America.